let us analyze the same algorithm by taking the same example in another sheet another sheet i am uh, analyzing so in each of the same elements number of elements equal to 5 so what happens so number of elements so n minus 2 n minus 2 is what 5 minus 2 is what 3 similarly this is n minus 1 is what 4 okay so now initially i is equal to 0 i is pointing to 0 so then i am 0 less than or equal to 3 true comes inside minimum is equal to i so here only minimum position minimum position so then j is equal to i plus 1 i is 0 so j is pointing to here so i am comparing these two next okay so next what i am doing so if a of i a of j less than a of minna a of j is 3 less than a of minna true comes inside i am assigning j to min that means now this is not min so my this is my min okay now so that means now this step this step is over now this step over so next after that so i will rewrite for you people i will rewrite 7 3 9 5 2 so this is my i right now this is my min so i am incrementing j so goes to next iteration of the j j incremented now j j is what now j is equal to 2 2 less than equal to 4 true comes inside now a of j a of j is what 9 less than a of min a of min no false comes out of the for loop go to the increment part of the for loop no j becomes 5 so next again so that means now i compare this with this so next again i will rewrite 73952 so again this is my i this is my min position now I incremented j so now j is what 3 index now again 3 less than or equal to 4 true comes inside a of 3 a of 3 is what 5 less than a of min less than a of min a of min is 3 so i am comparing these two okay 3 a of j is min less than min now no okay so i will keep as it is 73952 so this is my i as it is this is my min now j incremented goes to increment part of the j for loop j4 four, 4 less than equal to 4 true comes inside now a of j a of j is 2 2 less than a of min yes true when comparing this two i came this is lesser than this one so what i did so 73952 now this is my i this is my min now i said what j is equal to min j is equal to 2 that only i said as min so now after that goes to the j becomes 5 5 less than equal to 4 come false comes out of this for loop now swap a of i and a of min a of i is 7 a of min is 2 2 so now i am swapping these two i am swapping these two two here seven here remaining element as it is so i got one minimum element this is what we did here for pass one pass one over okay so next after that so remaining elements are 3 9 5 7 so next again now it comes out of the inner out, outer inner for loop goes to the in, increment part of the inner for loop now i becomes what i becomes here see this is what we taken here so now one less than equal to three true comes inside minimum is equal to i now this is itself mean so next j is equal to i plus one i is one so j is pointing to here i'm comparing these two condition false a of j a of j is not less than a of min false comes out of this go to the next iteration for the for, for loop j for loop so then i am comparing with these two again condition false so j incremented so again i am incrementing this one so again a of j is less than a of min condition false comes out of the for loop j becomes 4 4 uh, 5 uh, less than equal to 4 false comes out of the for loop goes to the next iteration that means now after that swap a of 5 with a of min that means 3 is swapped with 3 only so i got 3 here 3 only 957 remaining is 957 okay so now again i will among these three elements this is my i now i got incremented now i becomes 2 2 less than equal to 3 true comes inside this only i will assume as g there that means i am assigning as min so then this is my j because j is what i plus 1 in front of i so i'm comparing a of j with a of minimum so a of j is less than a of minimum true comes inside now i'm assigning what this says minimum this says i only now this is my j incremented so swap so this is false comes out of that j here j when go j incremented j becomes 5 condition false comes out of this for loop now swap a of min with a of i so after that 5 comes here 9 goes here so this also i got 
so 9 and 7 so finally goes to increment part of the ith for loop now i becomes 3 3 less than or equal to 3 condition becomes true true now comes inside now this only mean this, this only j condition becomes true a of j is less than now j is equal to 4 4 less than equal to 4 true comes inside a of j a of j is less than a of mean so i am making this as an mean position this is i so i am then j get incremented or j become 5 condition false comes out of the for loop then we swap i and of this one minimum so this is become 7 so i got this one so only one element is output that's it we sorted okay so this is how this selection sort works now we will do analysis Now analysis, what is the first step? First step is what? Identity, decide the problem size. Here number of elements to be sorted is the uh, problem size. And the second step is, now we need to identify the basic operation. Here what the operation we did? Comparison operation. So comparison operation is the basic operation. That is A of J less than A of min is the basic operation. Third step. We need to decide whether we need to find all three cases or only the average case. Here, the uh, number of times this basic operation executing depends only on the problem size. So, we need to find only the average case. So, next fourth one. So, now we need to express how many times this basic operation executing in terms of some expression. In our algorithm, we are having two for loops. So, two for loop means two summation. Since comparison operation, I am taking C of n. So, is equal to two for loops, two summation. First for loop is running from 0 to n minus 2, 0 to n minus 2. So, then next for loop is running from i plus 1 to n minus 1. So, j is equal to i plus 1 to n minus 1. For each time, we are executing the comparison operation only once. That means, at a time, we are comparing one, one time we are doing comparison operation. So, one. So, now if you apply formula, j is equal to 0 n minus 1 now we apply only formula to this one upper limit minus this is n minus 2 upper limit minus lower limit plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 get cancelled this is with nothing but i is equal to 0 to n minus 2 n minus 1 minus i now you keep replacing the value of i first time i value equal to 0 if you place i, I value 0 it will get n minus 1 summation plus Next value of i is 1. If you put i in place of i 1, n minus 1 minus 1, this n minus 2. Next i value 2, then it becomes i minus 3. Like that, see, n value keep decreasing. My minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 keep decreasing. At one time it becomes 0. So this can be written as n into n minus 1 by 2. So then it, this, is, this is nothing but n square minus n by 2. n square by 2 minus n by 2. Out of these two terms, which is most dominant in term, n square is the most dominant in term. So I will write C of n belongs to big theta of n square. This is what time complexity is in the order of n square. But exactly how many times we are executing the comparison operation? This many times we are exactly we are executing the comparison operation. You check here. See here how many times we uh, executed the comparison operation? See here. One count. One, two, three, four. Then here five. Then six. Then seven then 8, then 9, see then 10, okay, 10 times, okay, for how many elements, 10 times, we took 5 elements, for 5 elements, 10 elements, for 10 times, so okay, we replace n value 5, 5 into 5 minus 1, that is 4, 5 into 4, 20, 20 by 2 is 10, exactly we got, so thus, this is the time complexity of an algorithm, so hope you people understood, if anybody having any doubt or any clarification if you want you please write it in the comments thank you